Hey, what's going on, everyone? Welcome to Gigs and Gamers Play, and it looks like in maybe about a week's time, we actually might be losing the best Call of Duty Warzone map, that being Rebirth Island. Now, in my opinion, when you play Call of Duty Warzone, Rebirth Island is the only map worth playing. Caldera is absolutely dog shit, and I didn't even think Vandansk was that good either. So, Caldera being as bad as it was, it kind of makes sense that they would want to try a new map, and they might want to go down the Resurgence route, because we've had the Rebirth Island map since, I want to say, December 2020? Yeah, that sounds about right. So anyway, Call of Duty Warzone's new map for Season 4 gets a name. Now, Warzone during Season 3 of Vanguard's life cycle was pretty shit. Uh, they gave us the Godzilla and King Kong event, which ended up being a complete, total fucking dud. Anyway, so Call of Duty Warzone is adding a new map in Season 4, and now Activision has announced what it is called. The new map carries the name Fortune's Keep. Yeah. Activision revealed this following a Wheel of Fortune-style teaser that asked fans to guess what it might be. Fortune's Keep is just the latest Warzone map following Caldera, Vandansk, and Rebirth Island. Activision also released an 80 spin on Vandansk called Vandansk 84. Caldera is Warzone's newest map, having arrived in December. According to Dexerto, uh, the new Fortunes map will be arriving in Warzone's upcoming Season 4 update. Now, Season 3 ends on June 22nd, so yeah, we're getting pretty close. So fans should expect Season 4 to begin sometime around then. Now, the TAC map for Fortunes Keep will be revealed tomorrow, June 13th. Activision announced, check back with GameSpot for more blah, 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 blah. So here we are. Now, this guy is called Ghost of Hope. Ghost of Hope, uh, he is a well-known Call of Duty leaker. Uh, he gets things right a lot of the time, and he's kind of teasing that Rebirth Island is going to go away, be destroyed, be nuked. Now, I remember back when we had the nuking of Vandansk, uh, that ended up being a pretty shitty event. Uh, personally, I think the only good events Warzones have done are, is the Zombies one, but everything else is a bit meh. So he's kind of teasing that uh, Rebirth Island's about to be destroyed, and he puts this one out as well. So Rebirth Island out, Fortune's Keep in. I really like the map of Rebirth Island. I think it's a well-designed map for a battle royale, a smaller scale battle royale, and the resurgence game mode it definitely makes it a lot of fun, and this is something that I play with many other people and some gigs and gamers people as well, uh, at least once a week, and it's pretty enjoyable. Now, to lose Rebirth Island, I think, is definitely going to put a sting on its enjoyment for me, especially if Fortune's Keep ends up being a bit of a dud map. The only time will tell. What I would like to see, though, is, at least in Warzone 2, is something similar to the way Apex Legends does it, how they have a rotation of maps constantly going on throughout the game seasons, instead of just losing one map to gain another one, because, you know, as much as I don't like Verdansk, I can agree that majority of people pervert Verdansk to Caldera, so maybe if that was in a rotation, you could do that, then you could do the same with Rebirth Island and Fortune's Keep, but we'll have to see how this all goes. And then throughout the week, well, I guess in the next seven or eight days or whatever, I'll be checking out Fortune's Keep and we'll see how it goes. So what do you guys make of this? Are you looking forward to this new map? Are you worried that losing Rebirth Island is going to be losing the last good thing of Warzone? Let me know in the comment section down below. Be sure to subscribe to Geeks and Gamers Play and check out geeksandgamers.com and I'll see you all in the next video.